my name is Debbie James. I'm like 23 years old. I had problems at home, mental health problem that came up and then I was in a bad way. So I was going through quite a lot. So I knew I wanted help and I knew I needed to get that situation and I needed to start somewhere and I thought P3 would be the best place to start. And then I just came in and told them what's going on. And then they sort of started helping me. Basically, they help young people find accommodations, like, and just try and help them move forward in their life, like, the situation that they're in. They always, like, give advice and they're quite honest and just say how it is. The staff are really friendly and really understanding. If you just be honest with them and just tell them what's going on, they're always willing to help people. Just made it everything seem a lot better than it was. My name's Tyler Wilson. Um, I'm 21 years old. Um, I started with P3 about about a year ago, I'd say. I was kicked out of my mum's house uh, due to vandalism, really. Um, criminal damage, you name it. I was living at, you know, my friends' houses. Uh, I felt like I was intruding in their life, you know. I made the mistake of letting anger get to me. That emotion there that I just didn't address. I couldn't see a way out, you see. I thought like, oh, you know, I've got to, you know, do do crime, you know what I mean? Or I might have to do, yeah, I couldn't see the way out, basically. Yeah, I said to myself, okay, well, let me look at the basics, really. You know, I live in West Drayton. What are, what's my local help, really? I ran into um, a friend of mine who actually referred me to P3. And when I got to P3, um, everything kind of just kicked off from there. I was able to sign up. Uh, they welcomed me in like a family. They were, they were able to give me placements, really. Um, they definitely referred me to a number of opportunities. Um, one which I actually took up on, scaffolding apprenticeship. I pretty much think everything to do with P3, you are you're bound to be successful, you see, because you will end up in something. You will find your niche, you will, you will end up in a career that actually suits you. And if you're not happy, they're always willing to let you come back in and, you know, support you and assist you from there, really. I'm Malaysia, I'm 15. In school, my behavior was bad. So they put the program on. So every Wednesday, Roxy would come in and I'd speak to her for an hour. She said, I'll always be here, talk to you if you need me. And sometimes I didn't go in because I didn't like school, so I didn't go in. But I'd come see her here. I'd, I'd walk past and I'd see her and I'd talk to her. And she'd just tell me, like, just keep my head up. School is, a, like, an important thing. I just took it and like, I have to go, but I didn't take it as that. And Roxy just kept telling me, like, it's, you need to go to school. In year 10, I, like, I really did not want to go. And now, like, I can't wait to go back to school. She's, like, a good auntie that's always there for you. And, like, you could always talk to her when you have no one to talk to. My name's Daniel Dempsey, 23 years of age. I had, I had family issues at home. I've only got my mother left here. Um, had problems with her. Had to move out. I was on the streets for about about a week, maybe just over a week. I was literally sleeping in bushes, literally sleeping in bushes. It was a struggle, um, especially when it's raining. Yeah, but P3 were blinding. I, I finally come here, um, they offered me, like every time I come here, they'd offer me water, food, stuff like that. They're best to do everything they could. They were calling No Second Night Out and all these other sort of charities and organisations to try and help me. Literally, I think within a week of me being here, they were able to find me a place to stay. P3 were able to help me out with um, food vouchers and stuff like that. So I could go to um, like a church, they'll give you a couple of bags worth of shopping. Um, apart from that, they've offered countless amounts of different types of counselling, training organisations, um, getting into a better workplace, getting into better education. Now that I know that I've got the, um, the backing kind of a P3, you know, it's like you've got a support group to fall back onto. And having P3 here is just so much help. Thank you.